Hello Team FD and welcome back to Unfiltered where we traverse the timeline, where we get you the story behind the gram thanks to our mates at DW Fitness First, powered by Intersport. Today, I'm joined by a very classy man. It's Fabian Cher. Not sure, English commentators get it wrong. The two dots means Cher, doesn't it? Exactly Cher right. and it's yeah. Karen. How are Thank you? you? Thank Good. you for joining us. Thanks. What a jacket this is, by the way. Yeah, it's Puma, no? Can we so swap afterwards? We, we try, yeah. That's a soft night. Yeah. Anyway, let's get straight into your Instagram, mate, because that is why we're here. First photo is of you joining the club, holding the number five shirt. How did it feel? finally arriving in the Premier League. Yeah, it was a special special day and um, now uh, I can say it was probably the best decision I could make uh, to come to Premier League, the best league in the world, uh, to this club where, where I'm really happy and um, so I'm really happy to be here still. The expectations maybe slightly higher than at Deportivo? Yeah, of course. Uh, you come into the Premier League, you know it's the best league in the world. Uh, it's maybe everything even harder than, than all the other leagues, but uh, I was always confident in myself uh, and what, what things I can do. But uh, yeah, you never know what happened. So last year was, was quite good for me, especially the second half year. And mm. um, so I'm really proud of it. A couple of memorable moments, including a couple of pretty stunning goals that we'll get onto in a minute. Right, second photo. I've got to say, this is extremely classy. And I've, got a, very, classy man, no? I've got a very important <laughs> question for you. Is that normal milk? Is it almond or is it soy? It's almond milk, to be oh, honest. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> it's good, the huh? healthier option. Of course, man. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm extremely pleased about that. And, and what are we di divulging on here? Is that a little cappuccino? Yeah, it's a little cappuccino, but like you say, with almond milk. Okay. And where so. is this photo? Is it in Newcastle? Because it looks like it's, it's in the time sun's off. out. So. Time off. On the sea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really embracing culture then. Yeah, it's quite nice there. So if we have a sunny day here, I'm trying to be there sometimes. So you have good, uh, good bars, good restaurants. So it's, it's good. Third photo is it is that award for goal of the month. I mean, let's talk about that goal. Did you ever think, as a centre back, I'm going to score a goal where I run from my own half, you know, halfway, go past a couple of men, and, and tuck it confidently in the corner? No, <laughs> no, not really. Like no. It, uh, uh, what were you thinking when you set off? Nothing. I'm in the game. It's just I don't know. It's going so fast. You you have to do what what is in your mind, and you never think. Oh, before the game, yeah, today I want to score some some nice goal. Or I don't know. Normally, my my part is to defend. Uh, <laughs> so this is my first job, and um, when I can help the team with. The goal is quite nice and special when you can score a goal like this, is, yeah. uh, for me it's very special. And um, I mean quite nice is underselling it. You know when you <laughs> beat the first man, did you just think, I'm having this, I'm going for it, I'm going the whole way? No, it's just, instinct. just yeah, it's instinct, it's just game. I've never had that instinct. <laughs> <laughs> right, this next video, your little pre-season regime, little wry smile on your face there, this is like three minutes long. <laughs> And there is some weird techniques going on in here. Weird. Like you're following the phone with your eyes. Yeah. I mean, take us through life as a footballer when you're coming back from holiday because it must be hard getting ready to, to only eat, you know, dry chicken breast for the next 10 months. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I try to relax some weeks and after uh, you have to start again. Uh, you cannot wait until the preseason pre starts, so you have to do something uh, before and uh, when I was in holiday, I found uh, I had these good trainings with uh, with these guys. It's not only what's happening on the pitch, so you you can improve also in in your in your head and all this stuff, and uh, that can make you uh, a better player. And that's what I try to do. I mean, in the next photo, when you come up against guys like Neymar, you need all the help you can get, right? So here you are doing battle with him at the World Cup, where you drew one-one. How do you prepare? for an opposition like Neymar and like Brazil in general? Yeah, you don't prepare special for one player. You know, you have Brazil, you have one of the best teams in the world. Uh, they have a whole team who have fantastic players. So, you know, it's going to be a hard <laughs> game, to be honest. You know, you have to, you have to be a great 
great team together. Yeah. yeah, you have to be ready. You have to help each other. You have, you know, they are special. They can do always special things. So Lichtsteiner could give him a good kick in, like he normally does. Of course, does. no. Especially against player like him, you have to. You try to help each other to play two against one. You yeah. know, it's, it's better chances for you. And uh, we did quite quite good in the game. So we drew one one, and uh, was a good start for us in the World Cup. It was a good start. Uh, talking of attacking players, here you are in the next photo competing with Paul Pogba. Is there one midfielder in the Premier League that you hate playing against because you know he's just got like really good distribution or he's going to find that space between the full-back and the centre-half? I'm, I'm talking your David Silvers here, your Paul Pogba's. Is there one midfielder whose distribution is just absolutely killer to defend against? Could be De Bruyne. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm a big fan of him. Like he plays a fantastic player, and his uh, his passing abilities and all his stuff. Uh, is, is that whipped cross to the front post. Yeah, how, how many assists that? he gives is crazy, and also like his position in the game is really hard to defend. Always between the lines, and you know you don't know what exactly you, you should do. You go out or you still wait. So it's, it's really hard. But uh, that's the best thing of, of the game. You know, you play against these players and you, nice, yeah. you can learn from them. Nice, I like that you appreciate the Bruyne. I hope he has a big season. Not against Newcastle though, right? <laughs> the next photo, and it's you kind of pitching your wits against Karim Benzema. If you had to play for one of Barcelona or Real Madrid, you know, if you can give me an answer, which one which one suits Fabian Schaar better? The Los Blancos strip or the Blaugrana? No, I'm since since I'm a kid I'm for yeah, I'm a big Real Madrid fan. Big Real Madrid fan? I thought you were going to say, you said you like playing out from the back. I thought you were going to go for Barcelona. You're yeah, already playing stripes. Still, this You're halfway is, this there. This is my club in Spain. So. <laughs> okay, so what do you think to Eden Hazard's move then? That was a good move for him. Yeah. I mean, is it, is it, are you also thinking, thank God I don't have to mark him? As well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last photo is the, is the most Instagram of the bunch. <laughs> it looks like you're on your gap year here, Fabian. Exploring Switzerland. Yeah, I mean, is this, is this what you do to relax? Just take a casual hike with what looks like <laughs> at least 20 kilograms of luggage on your back? To be honest, I, I went uh, to the mountains, yeah, because Switzerland is a lovely, lovely country. So when I'm there, I, I like to be there. And uh, yeah, just just relax and do some different different things. And um, so it's not I'm doing this every weekend, don't worry. But uh, for winter or weekend or something like this, you, you, I love to do it. Yeah. And, yeah. Tell me about raclette. Why is it so special? Have you ever tried? I've, I have, but only in London. It's not the same if you tried in London or in Switzerland because I would tell you in Switzerland it's different. So uh, it's what potatoes, potato, cheese. cheese, but you do it, you do it warm the cheese like in in this. Uh, I don't know how to say, but um, like a, yeah, almost then like you... a fondue pot sort of thing. No, fondue is different. All right, well I'm uncultured. This is why I'm asking you. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> this this <laughs> you have to put the cheese to warm it up, and yeah. then you put it over the potatoes. Nice. And uh, you have different things on the side, and so is it kind of like the Swiss version of tapas? kind of tapas but yeah if you want to say it like this it's okay because everyone i talk to from switzerland is very passionate about it yeah it's yeah. raclette and football and fondue and fondue as well yeah nice so we have okay. these things well i think that's, that brings a very cultured end to proceedings <laughs> doesn't it thank you very much for joining Cheers. us mate that was unfilled for this week massive shout out to dw fitness first powered by into sport and of course our mates at puma and his gorgeous boots either side of us if you want to know more about them then check the link below that's all from us like subscribe Comment below, take it easy.